thank uh, the chairman for adding this bill to the uh, DACA today, H.R. 6015, the Iran Sanctions Accountability Act. I'm confident this bill will garner bipartisan support. In September, the Biden administration issued waivers allowing for the transfer of $6 billion in earning funds from accounts in South Korea to Qatar. These funds were to be used exclusively for humanitarian purposes. In exchange, Iran committed to the release of five American hostages. As we know, less than a month later, one of Iran's terrorist proxies, Hamas, waged a brutal assault on our friends in Israel. The administration has since suspended any release of the $6 billion until further notice. Against this backdrop, my legislation today would help ensure that future humanitarian assistance to Iran, whether it relates to the $6 billion or in Qatar or not, is subject to appropriate due diligence. Congress has repeatedly endorsed humanitarian exemptions in our sanctions laws, since the purpose of OFAC's Iran sanctions is to target the dictatorship in Tehran, not the innocent victims who are suffering under it. At the same time, we should all want reassurance that the Atollas aren't diverting humanitarian assistance to support terrorism and weapons proliferation. For instance, if funds were released to Iran, we must ensure that fungibility doesn't allow for expansions elsewhere in the Iranian budget. These funds should not add, or should add, excuse me, these funds should add to the humanitarian relief, not replace relief that would have occurred regardless. Additionally, we cannot allow Iran to purchase and resell humanitarian goods to supplement Tehran's revenues. My bill requires the president to prescribe regulations to ensure that humanitarian assistance addresses risks like these. That may include public guidance on know your customer procedures for business dealings with Iran, or enhanced record keeping for exporters who trade in humanitarian goods with the government. The bipartisan outcry against a $6 billion ransom to Iran highlights what little confidence Congress has in Iran's use of unfrozen funds. While our sanctions have long incorporated humanitarian aid for ordinary citizens, we must ensure aid is reaching the intended recipients. This is especially true for a government rife with money laundering risk and a mission to finance terrorism globally. We can absolutely cannot allow humanitarian aid to become a weapon used to destroy humanity, which, if given the chance, is exactly what Iran and Hamas will do. I urge my colleagues to support H.R. 6015, and I yield back the balance of my time. Uh, recognize the ranking member for five minutes.